Hey everyone, my name's Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number nine of the ICBA, I believe, and uh, I am a little bit mixed up because this is being played t before my previous two weeks, so hopefully uh, I'm not too, too out of it, and uh, we can get things going the way that I could, but I did build this team very early, very out of um, sequence, so I don't really quite know what I was doing here. I had to build this very quickly, and hopefully... Like I said, I can do something with this team. I'm just super curious to see his matchup. Um, the biggest things that scare me are obviously the Magirna. The Magirna um, honestly held me back from wanting to bring my top Lele. And uh, the Gothitelle is going to be tough, right? So um, uh, Gothitelle can trap certain things. Certain things I'm not too, too afraid of it trapping, but other things I have to be very, very afraid of. Um, but we do see the Shaman, Gothitelle, Magirna, Megalopunny um primarina and needle queen so right off the bat leaves back the entei which i've expected um everything else i'm pretty positive that i that i expected yeah 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 these are definitely the six that made the most sense against me so i definitely definitely get it but uh these were definitely the six that i would be most afraid of the only thing that i could maybe think was maybe entei over gothitelle but that was really more of a hope than an expectation so I'm going to take a screenshot of uh, the matchup here and I think the best lead might honestly be the Mammoth Swine here. Mammoth Swine feels like it makes sense to me here. So I'm going to do it. Mammoth Swine is probably what threatens his team the most, but other than that, um, I, we just have to get into it, it feels like. Um, he, yeah, his team matches up really well against mine. I do have certain threats that I can have against him, but it's never going to look terribly great. So, I would expect him, he does like his, his Needle Queen lead, but I wouldn't see it here. No, it leads off the Primarina, okay, that's totally fair. That's totally fair. So, this Mammoth Swine can come in, and... Uh, I feel like going into the, going into the Ferrothorn is far too predictable, but I feel like I just have to do it in this situation. Uh, he has gone for pretty aggressive hidden power fires against me in the past, and I would not be surprised at all if he does this turn one, but, uh, what am I really going to do? Just goes for the Moon Blast, okay. So they will let me get a Leech Seed off, and I do think I have to click Leech Seed here. I do think I have to click Leech Seed here. Um, I'm never too, too concerned about Hidden Power Fire. Honestly, uh, if he goes aggressively into the Gothitelle, like, this early on in the match, then that would be pretty bananas to me, but it's honestly a possibility. Uh, my team doesn't do the best against Gothitelle, and he does have things that he can set up on like this ferrothorn is going to be a big kind of setup opportunity for him um the alamomola as well i did have to pack healing wish on my alamomola just for that but uh at the same time they did feel kind of necessary in this entire matchup uh i don't know any of his real any of his nicknames really but okay okay so already not going great not going great but i think what this does Huh. I don't know what this does. Uh, my first instinct is that I want to get off a layer of spikes. And he can potentially just go for the hidden power fire now. But... Huh. I really do think spikes are going to be meaningful here. I'm going to click spikes. And if he goes for the for the hidden power fire, he goes for the hidden power fire. Just click Seed Flare, so it really expected me to want to switch out here. But, uh, yeah, I really didn't feel the need. It is a Life Orbed. Okay, that is really, really interesting. That is genuinely really interesting. Because, um, when I was running some pregame calcs, right? Um, I was trying to figure out what type of a Shaman it would be. Because my Mammoth Swine is kind of built to deal with either, right? So it has enough speed to, to outspeed like a max defense Shaman. And it also has a Rindo Berry to hopefully take a Seed Flare. And and believe me, I just barely, barely take a, a, um, a max special attack Life Orb Seed Flare. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I just barely take um, a really powerful Seed Flare. And I can hit back with ho with hopefully two Icicle Crashes or an Icicle Crash into, into, um, into a Shard. But now this is going to be a super interesting turn because I don't think he wants to allow me into my my Infernape right now. But I also don't think he wants to overpredict and give me a third layer of spikes. I think for sure. Hmm. Yeah, no, I really can't give up my Infernape here. But would he really give me another layer of spikes? Would he really want to give me a third layer of spikes? Swampert, I guess, is the kind of in-betweener where... Where... Um, because he would never click Seed Flare, right? He, he'd either want to click Air Slash or Psychic, or the Hidden Power of Fire. And Swampert would be a little bit more of a catch-all, like, switch into that. But then I have to pull double, and he knows that I have to pull double, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, no, this is actually tough. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna attempt to pull some kind of crazy double here. If he goes for Seed Flare, I mean, there'd be so few situations where he'd want to go for Seed Flare right now. But, yeah, it does go for Thin Power Fire. Okay, okay. This is a more or less max special defense Swamper. And, uh, just seeing that, I mean, like, I don't know how he wouldn't go for the Seed Flare now. Although, if he makes this call, then he definitely makes a call here. I feel like I have to do it. I feel like I have to do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, definitely not great, but not the worst thing in the world. So now, Infernape is in here. Against, what is this thing called? Uh, Shaman. And this is almost definitely a, a specially offensive shaman. Uh, clicking U-turn feels like it always makes sense here. Clicking U-turn always feels like it makes sense here. And yeah, I'm going to try it. He does withdraw. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And that'll go out into the Gothitelle. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage to the Gothitelle. Um. Honestly, it might be in... No, I don't think I can risk it. I think I have to... Attempt to click um, Thunderbolt with my with my Thunderous, but I feel like I have to try and gauge a little bit of damage here. So U-turn, that's about right for no bulk. Because U-turn did uh, he came in, took about twenty-ish percent, and then goes all the way down to about thirty-five percent. I don't know, that could also just be max HP, per, I guess. Um, but that should allow my Thunderous. Yeah, he would have to be max special defense to take a... to take a Thunderbolt right now. But I also feel like sub. I mean, he he has a very obvious play to go into either Low Plenty or the Nita Queen. I'm gonna click sub. I'm gonna take a risk here. Does it allow me to get off a sub? Does he just click psychic? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Okay. So I so so I ever predicted I, I revealed sub, but I don't think that's gonna matter too too much in the longer you know scheme of the match. I think 
Thunderbolt just always KOs here. Oh, it's Scarfed. Please take this. Yeah, it's Scarfed. Okay, definitely did not see that coming. So, I'm definitely glad that I clicked U-Turn. <laughs> because giving up my uh, Infernape on a... On a, um... On a Scarfed Gothitelle would have been really bad. But now this thing comes in. And I'm reasonably sure that this... Actually, yeah, this gives my Alamola a lot of free freedom because I was genuinely really afraid that my Alamomola would not be in a good position because of the... Uh, because I thought that my Alamomola was in, was going to be set up fodder for his Gothitelle and his Gothitelle would, was always going to be able to um, trap in Alamomola and not only KO my, my Alamomola, but also... Um, be able to set up on it and once it's set up then i'm in a really bad position but he has to know that i have the alamo available to me um but if he really wants to you know switch around a bunch then i have a pretty obvious um uh then he's obviously going to take a bunch of spikes coming in and out and he doesn't have removal so uh the spikes should be here to stay i really do want to get up rocks as well Goes for a Drain Punch, which is totally fair. That's totally fair. Um... I feel like I just clicked Toxic here. Goes for- okay. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. You got me good. You got me good. Low punny. Low punny, all out attacker. Or no. Low punny, all out attacker against my. Almamola. Okay, it looks like liquidation at least breaks the sub. And I can wish up here. Goes for a Baton Pass. Into what? Into Magirna? Yeah, Magirna's potentially pretty bad, actually. Okay, Magirna's gonna be not the worst thing in the world because... He would... He, uh, uh, he would have to have the Energy Ball for my Swamper, but he, but he could also just pack Energy Ball for... For... Oh, goes into Shaman. Get Shaman behind a sub. I mean, that's fine. He could potentially assume that I want to... That I want to... Heal up my... My... Ferrothorn? But... I think I can freely take any hit with my... Infernape and be able to... Uh, U-turn out. Have it take a little bit more damage and... Overall, put me in a good position. Yeah, yeah. I knew that that was the prediction that he had to make in this situation. But now I'm going to get healed up. I'm going to be able to U-turn out. And uh, he's going to take more Life Orb Recoil. So... This was pretty favorable overall, I think. Um, Honestly, the Magirna would have been the most scary thing for him to want to go into. Honestly, the Magirna... Him not going into the Magirna in that moment really signals to me that he has that he has the the that he doesn't have the energy ball on his Magirna. Otherwise, um, I think Magirna was a pretty darn free play in that moment. So, I mean, I guess I can try and wear down this. I guess I can try and wear down this thing. Excuse me. I feel like Mamoswine makes sense here. A Mamoswine can get off a an Ice Shard. I can go for it. No, you know what? 
part of me thinks he goes for an attacking move, assuming that I'm going to switch out. I have a very obvious Swampert switch in, I have a very obvious Infernape switch in. And honestly, I think I can give up an I think I can give up um I think I can give up Ferrothorn here. So I'm going to. I'm going to attempt to get up spikes and I'm gonna see goes for a rest. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, so natural cure rest. I mean, I'm not, it's not the most concerning because I do have mons that can outspeed it and hit this thing relatively hard, but that will give me a third layer of spikes. It will give me a third layer of spikes, and uh, actually, have we seen more, more moves so, so he can't pack sleep talk? So he's just relying on the natural cure. We've seen seed flare, HP fire, psychic, and rest. So yeah, that's all four moves right there. That is all four moves. Now, I think he's going to switch out for sure, for sure. And honestly, that I kind of feel like that gives me not an opportunity to click Thunder Wave. The only thing that I would obviously be bad against would be the Needle Queen. But then Swampert is a pretty easy Needle Queen um, bring. Actually, Mammoth Swine is better, but uh, I could also just click Leech Seed. Yeah, Leech Seed is by far the better play. He has to switch out here. No, he stays in. And he's not sleep talk, so he just stays in. I mean, that's interesting. But it's going to allow me to go into Infernape here. On his last turn of sleep. And part of me thinks I, don't, I wouldn't mind burning Fire Z here. I don't know if that's crazy. I don't know if that's, like, the craziest thing to think. But... Even even Raw Flare Blitz should always do it, right? I think even Raw Flare Blitz, like, always does it. Assuming this is no bulk, th I mean, even... I mean, I know it's not max HP, but even if we did get... Well, okay, max HP is not looking great. Do I burn the Fire Z right now? Do I burn the Fire Z right now? No, I click U-turn. I have to play this a little bit slower than I would like, but I, I, feel, I just feel like I have to here. I just feel like I have to here. This is too much of a risk to take around this thing. But yeah, again, the only thing he truly the only way he truly takes me out is if um he clicks seed flare and he knows that I've been clicking lead seed, so he might be um reticent to, to kind of um switch in and out. I think no, that's not that's not a play. I don't know what I do. I already have three layers of spikes. Uh I really don't want to call this wrong. You know what? I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. This could be a really bad play, but I think I have to just go for it here. Let's go for the power. Okay, okay. So, that's going to allow me to just click Ice Shard. And his switchings are never that great. Uh, he could give up the Shaman. 
He could give up the Shaman. Uh, obviously, yeah, Magirna is, isn't really a switch in. Nita Queen isn't really. Low Pony doesn't want to take too, too much damage. Just gives this thing up with a nice shard. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, but now Low Pony is, is his only real, real play. Well, no, Primarina is. Primarina for sure, for sure. But Primarina... I would not mind at all giving up the Primarina for... Giving up the Primarina for... Uh, a big EQ off on the Primarina. But yeah, Shaman was a huge, huge um, threat that I had to get out of the way. This thing is going to take max spikes, and actually... Huh. How much damage can I do to this thing? With Ice Shard. Not quite enough. It does look like it is a roll, but not quite enough. I mean, if I pick up this KO, then uh, that would set me up fantastic. Nope, alright, fair enough. Yeah, no. Um, but that is... I mean, it might be in range for Infernape uh, Mach Punch. I mean, it should be. No, I think the best play is always just to go into... Is to go into... Swampert. Um... Or is it? I don't know what the best play is here. Swampert's super specially defensive. And I really wish I could just get a little bit more damage to really ensure a Mach Punch KO. But I think I'd have to kind of risk it here. I think I kind of have to just kind of risk it here. I don't know how else, what else to do or how else to put it, but, um... Let's withdraw. We knew the Mach Punch was coming. But this is well in Gunk Shot range. That's well in Gunk Shot range. Um... I mean, what can I say? I have to land a gunk shot here. Um, I could also just go into Ferrothorn. Yeah, I think I'll just go into Ferrothorn here. By the looks of it, by the way that he switched around this thing earlier in the match, it looks like he doesn't have a lot for Ferrothorn. Goes for... Okay. I mean, what was I going to do ever against that? But now I definitely have to land a, pa a Power Whip. Which honestly is as tenuous as landing a Gunk Shot, so I should have... Just does that thing Power Fire. Okay. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. He can definitely get all this momentum back from me, but Swamper can come in. Swamper should be able to come in. Click EQ twice. Let's go for the Moon Blast. I mean, I just have to hope that I can take this well enough. Oof. Okay, special attack. I thought it was going to be special defense. I completely forgot. I, I just, like, freaked out for a second. Special defense would have been really, really bad. Genuinely would have been really, really bad. 
But now... I can also attempt to get up rocks before uh, this thing goes down. But no, I don't think I can risk really anything here. Just get another Moon Blast off. And uh, it looks like we do take one more hit. And unfortunately, we don't uh, even outspeed. So, uh, we do... Okay. This puts me in an interesting position because I can give up the... I can give the Swampert four rocks, which would then allow in my Infernape. And then my Infernape would potentially just win. Okay, so how much does a Fire Z do to... To a Nita Queen against Nita Queen, a max defense Nita Queen. Oh my God, Fire Z is not doing nearly enough. Fire Z is not is doing not nearly enough. But Stealth Rocks also just makes so much sense to me here. Goes for another Moon Blast. We barely take it. We get off the rocks. And the Nido Queen is going to be the last real big problem. And honestly, it could just be another Mon that he chooses to pack a uh, sub on with the Nido Queen. But that seems the most unlikely. And from here, I can just click EQ. Uh. Honestly, it might actually let my Thunderous in first. And if my Thunderous comes in first, then I can give up my Thunderous to the Nita Queen. Um, because I then click Thunderbolt, he he goes into Nita Queen to take it. I click Psychic, get the damage off, and then Inferni potentially wins. But I can't not click Thunderbolt here. Um, Thunderous Psychic should always do a whole lot of damage. Goes into the Need Queen. But now I can just click Psychic, um, give this thing up for... Has the Pyapa Berry, that's totally fine. But the more important thing is to just kind of gauge damage here. Okay. Click Sludge Wave. Magirna. Yeah, I mean, I believe Infernape wins from here. I don't think I'm in any position to kind of risk uh, not clicking Z Fire right now. So I think I just have to do it. But um the 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 um low plenty should always drop to a mock punch. He could be quick attack, but at that point, I don't think it matters. Um, I guess he could like switch around with, with a uh, fake out, fake out, going to Magirna, eat a Mock Punch, but then I click Flare Blitz, and then Low Punny goes down, and then I click Flare Blitz again. Oh, if this thing is Aka Berry, then yeah, the the way that he brought this thing in first. Makes me think that it's Akaberry, but uh, at this point, I don't think I, ha I, I honestly don't even have any other play. I honestly just don't even have any other play. 
No, no Akaberry. Is this thing max defense? Okay, that's a KO. Okay, okay. Oof. All right. That should be another win. That was very stress inducing. That was very stress inducing. But I actually know he's streaming right now. I kind of feel like I should go into his stream and just say uh, GG here. But. I believe Mock Punch just picks up this KO. And there is the win. Oh my god. I was very, very scared. I was very, very scared about this match. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. That's going to be week 9. I have to play week 7 and 8 after this. So hopefully those kind of can go as well. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again. Out.